Welcome back, troglodytes, to Would You Rock or Not, Fender Friday Edition. This week, Fender unveiled three new Game of Thrones themed instruments. We've got a new Strat, we've got a sweet Tele, and we have an awesome Jaguar to go over. Starting with the cheapest of the trio, offered at $25,000 is the Stark House Telecaster. This instrument features a maple neck with an ebony fretboard and a two-piece swamp ash body. This one has to be my favorite of the three because it still looks very guitar-like, but with some very key details here. The first fret inlay is the Dire Wolf, which is also seen here on the pickguard, and at the 12th fret of all these instruments, they have what they're calling the Game of Thrones O. Apparently that's made of coral. The whole ebony fretboard's a really nice touch as well. And I just love all the wood grain on the top. They've got the sterling silver kind of looking like binding. This is just such a fancy but yet not too fancy looking Telecaster. I love this one. Even though I don't know anything about the show, it's just got a really nice medieval vibe to it. The Lannister House Jaguar is the next one here. You can see it's got the similar themes going on here with that first fret inlay being of the house and then the Game of Thrones inlays with the ebony fretboard. But here's why this one is $5,000 more at 30,000 is all the gold leaf and the engravings that are on it. They were talking about doing hand etchings for all of this, but they eventually went with laser engraving because it got so finely detailed. Interestingly enough, they put Stratocaster pickups in here with the lipstick covers. This one, I feel, crosses over into the art guitar category, which doesn't make it bad, it's just not as appealing. I don't think I would pick this one up every day, it's more of like an admiration piece. I like all the laser engravings on it, it's just it made it too fancy, you know? And the final one is the most expensive being offered at $35,000. Now I almost feel like the Jaguar should be the most expensive one, but here's why this one is so ridiculously expensive. Take a look at all the etchings of the dragon scales on this. Apparently a normal Stratocaster will take about 20 minutes on the CNC machine, but this one takes 19 hours to do all the intricacies to it. The sigil for the house of this instrument is called Targaryen, and it's kind of cool. It's a three-headed dragon, kind of fits in with the whole Trogli's guitar thing. So I went ahead and I purchased this one. We'll see a full... now. just kidding. <laughs> nope, I'm not going to spend $35,000 on this, but we can appreciate the design. I mean, look at that red Fender logo. You've got, once again, the sigil at the first fret, the Game of Thrones at the 12th. You've got the three-headed dragon on this really kind of coppered color pickguard. All the intricate scales. I love the blacked out vibe of this instrument. It almost kind of has a steampunk vibe to it with that pickguard. These are three very unique instruments, and I'm sure fans of the show who have deep pockets will be really into them. The one thing that always impresses me about Fender is they're really good at marketing their high-end custom shop items. They produced a video on their YouTube channel that showed you these guitars a little bit more up close and teaches you all the nitpicky details of how they're made and what they're made of and their specs. And that's the best way to market your products. Being a Gibson fan, it's kind of a shame that Gibson puts no effort into marketing like this. I'll put a link in the description to that video. The only question left, would you rock the Fender Custom Shop Game of Thrones instruments or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.